Yo, what up guys, it's gonna be episode 13 of my CFW tutorial series, and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you guys how to properly make an SPRX eBoot for Kex or DEX. This will work on any game and on any firmware. So firstly, you wanna download uh, the CFW tutorial episode 13 folder. A link to that will be in the description. You also wanna download the SPRX menu you wanna make the eBoot for, and you also wanna download the eBoot you want to use. Um, I'm just gonna make an eBoot with the MW3 eBoot builder. You can also make your eBoot with the eBoot builder. Say you're on Black Ops 2, you can click off anti ban or whatever and then create the eBoot. So whenever you're creating an eBoot, you want to make sure it's on Kex and you have the right game ID. So that's right. So I'm going to create the eBoot. We're going to do the Kex eBoot first and the Dex one last because Kex one is the most confusing to people. Okay. So there's the eBoot there. So once you open up the CFW tutorial folder, a resigner will be in there and an SPRX elf builder will be in there. So firstly, you wanna uh, copy over the eBoot right inside the folder. And then you wanna run resigner. So right here, uh, the left side is Kex CFW, the right one is Dex. So since we made a Kex eBoot or you downloaded a Kex eBoot, we need to use this side, the left side. So we want to decrypt the eBoot so that would be number one. So just click number one, then click enter. Decrypt finish. So you can close this now. And then now you have a .elf file. And then now you want to open up the elf builder. And then click this right here and find your elf. It should be in the same folder yet, yeah, right there. Open it. And then right here, you need to copy the exact same name as the SPRX menu is. So you just wanna click right click rename and then control C or copy it however you like. It has to be the exact same as the SPRX file. So everything looks good, same thing. You wanna click build. And then right there is your new file. So you can close this. Now you can delete both of these files up here. And then you wanna rename this file just to eboot.elf, just like that. And then you want to open up the resigner again. And then you want to click four, D no, sorry, you want to click two, resign to non DRM eBoot to enter. It's done, you can close this. And there's your Kex eBoot for the SPRX menu that you have made it for. So this will work for Aftermath because that's, that that's what we just did. So you can copy that to whatever, copy it into eBoots. This is how I make, this is how I put together my eBoots when I make my menus and release them. Just put them in Kex, just like that. That would be for the, the last 30, 30838. So you can make another folder of that if you wanted to, if you're making or releasing a menu. So you wanna close that. You can delete this now. And now if you have a debug eBoot or Dex eBoot, you want to download that and then, or create one. I'm going to create one right here. So you want to make sure it's debug, create new eBoot. A link to this builder will be in the description too. And uh, save it. Okay. Close this. You want to copy the eBoot again into the folder. Open up Resigner. And then now, since we got a debug eBoot, it's gonna be on Dex side, so it's gonna be on the right side we have to follow. So you wanna click nine to decrypt the eBoot. It's finished. And there's our elf again. So you wanna open up the SPRX elf builder. Find the elf file, just like that, open it up. And then copy the name to here, the exact same thing as the SPRX menu. Click build. Wait for it to create the new file, there it is. Delete these files up here. Rename the cboot.elf again. Open up Resigner again. Follow the right side. So we want to resign to non-DRM eBoot, so that'd be number 10. Type in 10, click enter. And then there's your debug eBoot to run my aftermath menu. So you can copy it into the eBoots folder. To the decks. Can delete this and now we can open up filezilla and copy over the 
SPRX and eBoot to run and I'll show you guys that it works. Game. There it is right there. Just gonna copy over the I'm gonna do the Kex eBoot to show you guys that it works. You gotta put the SPRX menu on. I already have it on, okay. So when I say you can download an eBoot, you don't need to use a, an eBoot builder. You can just go on NG right now, search up a NW3 uh, non-host mods eBoot or Black Ops 2 anti-band with non-host mods. And you can literally do the exact same thing. You don't need an e uh, eBoot builder. And that's basically it, guys. So I copied over the PS3, and I'll see you guys on the PS3. All right, guys. So once we're at your PS3, you just want to put in the game you made the eBoot for in the SPRX and just run it. All right, so now you just want to sign in. And then click Play Online, and then... We're going to run up a uh, private match and see if it works. And as you can see, guys, it works. It opens up. I put the Kex eBoot on. And that's basically it, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.